Esports, and man, the energy around this city and here inside the arena is electric as they get set to kick off a homestand. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The Kraken have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. Quick pass to Michael. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Michael's so difficult to stop in tight and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. Takes it at center. Slides into Johns. Seattle's looking to break out of the road end. Scores! <laughs> and just like that, the perfect road start. A cliche is always getting the start, but that is exactly what it means. And the coach couldn't have drawn it up any prettier to take the crowd out of the game early and send a message right from puck drop. Love this play, James. Sometimes when you catch a puck and it's on your backhand, you don't have time to move it to your forehand, so you let it go quick, and the goaltender doesn't have a read on it. Minnesota's come to play tonight. They've been very aggressive to start, and as a result, Cheryl, they got the lead. Typically, the home team has the advantage, James, so when the away team comes into the barn, they want to make sure that they're not flat-footed, that they're urgent, they're aggressive, and to start this period, to start the game, they've been ready right from the hop, and they're rewarded with a goal. Here's a pass in front! Comes up with a stop. Tries to feed it over to Silverberg. Handles the pass. Slides the puck over. And some solid defensive work from their own end with the poke check. Oh, he hammered him. Oh, uh, you knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. Takes a shot. What a play defensively to block that. Kane's got the puck in his own zone. Good hit on the play. Here's a short pass to Costa Spare. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Minnesota's ahead, 1-0. Granlin's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Picks up the puck. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer, and now they find themselves shorthanded. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Right in front with the shot. There as we play on. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Granlund's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. And they win the face-off and set up to go on the attack. Knight's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. McCann's recognizing they're still short-handed here as they get ready for the face-off. Granlin's won the draw there on the attack. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Play whistle dead as the puck goes into the bench, and I think that woke up a few players. Minnesota's high activity in the offensive zone has resulted in them leading here midway through the first. Granlin's won the draw at center. Oh, just a great heads-up play by McCann. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Oh, he destroys them on the play! The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Another 
face-off looming here on this power play. Michaels won the draw. Unleashes a cannon! We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Veneers and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. Minnesota's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Made the stop on that play. And they clear that puck. Nice bank pass off the boards. He grabs the puck here at the point. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. And now it's grabbed by Parisi. Puck picked up by Pominville. Good, solid. There's a firm collision and a successful clearing attempt. Jostled off the puck. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. A chance in front. And that's stopped. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. Alexia standing up, ready to go. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Seattle's back to even strength as they've killed off the penalty. Well, that's just a great sequence of events with that power play unit, the way they were moving the puck, the execution with their passes and the scoring chances that they did get. Hey, sometimes it doesn't go in, but if they continue that, you got to figure their numbers are going to go up. Uh, they always say, to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save, that's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Minnesota's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Monstrous hit on his part of the corner. Sends the pass in front, and that carries off a twig in front of the net. Handles the puck. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle stops the play. You're trailing by one and you take a penalty, not the way to get back in the game. Champions looking to use his zone ability to generate some scoring here, guys. The power play is a great opportunity for him to use his skills to his team's advantage. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. Jumelin stick handling in his own zone. And they managed to clear it. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Wright's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Granlin's quick stick lands on the puck here at center. Center and feed! And that doesn't connect. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Nice dish from the left wing. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Granlin's able to help his team get possession right from puck drop, guys. His quick draw zone ability means he can win more face-offs and give his team the edge in those matchups. And he takes the feed. Seattle's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Quick feed to Granlin. And now it's over to Johns. Takes a shot. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in. And he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. With possession along the wall. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Knocks the puck loose. Quick pass across to Granlin. Can't make the play and the puck leaves the zone. There's always competition between the first and second unit on a power play. And the first unit's not going to like that they didn't capitalize. But the second's going to try and come out and finish. Lead pass ahead. Back in with intention. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear. And they have done that here. Here's another chance. Walk. Here's the pitch to Kane. Scores! A power play goal.
players work on this all the time in practice, James. It's about getting position net front, and then once that puck is coming towards you, you got to get your hands away from the body with great hand-eye coordination. Just get your stick on it. You're not sure where it's going all the time, but this time it winds up in the back of the net. Minnesota's opened things up here at the first as a result of their offense tonight. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Seattle's got the puck. With some open space at center. Picked up along the boards by Yamamoto. Nice feed at center, moves up ahead now. Here's a centering pass. Picked off in front. And that's knocked away. Dished on over to Koibu. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Here he is in front. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. I love that he recognizes that he has the lane and he decides to take it. You have to be courageous in this fight for position because you know that the defender is going to come at you hard. You got to shield the puck, you got to have power, and you have to want to get. Dish. Seattle's gained the line and into the zone. Oh, what a stop! Minnesota's got the puck. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Takes a shot. Great save by Knight. And he moves it up to Tobo. And now he moves it quickly to Cartier. Puck grab by Dunn. Stop up, stop up. Champions got it now deep inside his own end. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Chance in front. He scores! What a play! Anytime you're in the great A scoring, chances in your funnel tight to the net. You want to make sure you get a quick release shot and he doesn't miss. Minnesota's offense has been shining brightly so far in this first period. Michaels won the draw here in the neutral zone. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Turned aside with the glove by Knight. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Champion's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Moves it to Johns. Knight's going to hang on for a whistle. Minnesota's coaches wanted a lot of shots on net, and the team has delivered so far, leading late in the first. Wright's won the draw here in their own zone. Makes his presence known on the ice. Yeah, you can see this one coming, Cheryl. Yeah, and you hate to see this, James. A player down, never the look you want, but you also know that it has to be responded for. There has to be action when a guy's on the ice. There's the takedown, and I think that might be kind of a mercy rule there, right, Cheryl? It's a mercy rule as they're exhausted, and you can see them as they're panting. But what it does mean is that the officials can come in and just break it up. When the fight started, the fans erupted, and then all of a sudden the tilt went the road team's way, and it got awfully silent in here. Well, both teams seem to be a little calmer now after a pretty chaotic stretch just a few moments ago. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. That's just 10. Here we go, two on one. Gains the zone. And that rush comes to an end after a great defensive play. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Oh, how's that for a hit? Well, I like it, James. I mean, when you're getting blown out, you don't have much 
much of anything. That hit can ignite a spark. We'll send a message to your team, but let's get going. They go on the attack through center. Grabs control of it at the point. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Seattle's got one last chance to make something happen before the end of the period. Receives the pass. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Well, there's the horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. Second period is just around the corner. Tonight is our team poster giveaway. If you find a sticker on the inside cover of your program, go to get some Right, Zerli, our injury is going to keep him out of the game, James. We just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team, and, and somebody who's just so well-liked, too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. Scrum ensues along the boards. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Takes a shot. Poivu's last play was a tough one, James. He loses his balance, which makes it difficult for him to corral the puck and get it off with precision. But he makes the play. Oh, he came to bring the physicality tonight. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. And some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. Pushes it across to Johns. Fires it! Turned aside with the glove by Knight. Minnesota's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. Off the draw, they take possession. Seattle's got it in their own zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Newman. In. Takes a bump but hangs on. The Kraken have the puck against the boards. Dunn's got it in the defensive end. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Wild have possession along the boards. Here they come on the attack. Beats the puck over. Chance in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Michael's got to find a way to physically and emotionally engage without his fist, James. I mean, you know how effective and how valuable he is when he's on the ice. I mean, look at that scoring chance he just generated. Slick feed. Slides the puck across to Vanek. Minnesota's in on the offensive attack now. And he slides it quickly to Tolvanen. From the point, they take control of it. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Takes it and looks ahead. Oh, what a stop! Knight's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Minnesota's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Koivu's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Save on the play as action continues. Great pass from off the right side. Here's a shot. And he stakes that one with the cloth. Chris has made a nice stop there, and that can be difficult to do, James. I mean, sometimes you get cold or you get lulled into a game where you've been in the offensive zone most of the time. So it's often about timely saves that makes the difference. Koibu's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Bufflin's got it across the line. Seattle's got a hold of the puck now. Now a quick pass to Veneers.
get a shot off. That shot fools the goaltender. He's on the board. Seattle's finally got the counterpunch they need. Now, can they do it again, Cheryl? That's the question. Well, they need the knockout punch, don't they? And if they're going to get two and claw their way back in this one, but the momentum's in their favor right now. But it's their choice to do something with it. Minnesota's across the blue line. Taken by Dunn. Oh, he gets hit again. Well, this is a tough enough game as it is, but if you have your head down, you are going to get lambasted over and over again. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Seattle's on the attack. Too much traffic in the lane. Came up with the save on that play. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Takes the feed. Feed to the middle. And that's deflected off someone in front. in the middle of the ice. The Kraken have taken possession in their own end. Gains the zone from the right. Quick feed to Vanek. He knows he's only one goal away from his next milestone. That's why he's possessing the puck tonight. Takes the shot, and he had the answer on that one. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Minnesota's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. From the right side, moves it up ahead. The Wild have it in their own zone. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next. They grab our season tickets. Guarantee your seat for the upcoming playoffs on the box office. Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Seattle's got to stop giving the puck away, James. I mean, when it's on their stick, it's like a hot potato, and they're throwing it away. And I'm telling you, their opponent has really dominated possession because of it. They've been chasing when they get the puck, and they got to be confident with it. Strong defensive effort. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall.
Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Minnesota's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Absolutely hammers them. Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retrieve pucks. And man, can they deliver bone crushing hits. There's a collision. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Skates across the blue line. And the puck skips away after that move. Veneers finds an opening, and you know that he's going to try and take it. This time, just gets a little too fancy and loses the puck. Makes a save. Again, the denial by the goaltender. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Minnesota's got the lead early in this third period, and they have been a high-volume shooting squad tonight. Puck is dropped, he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Seattle's moving it into the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Silverberg. Up the neutral zone now. And that's picked up by Gostas there. Oh, he got all of that against the boards. Works it across to Silverberg. Can't connect with use of the body on that play. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. And he passes it up ahead to Bjorkstrand. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Drops the anchor. All alone. And he scores. I like that the shooter had the mentality just shoot it right away on the inside of the post, just recognizing that there was enough of an open and I think that the goaltender thought it was covered. Minnesota's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Skulls won the draw. Here's a chance. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. The puck across to Kurtzian. Good hit on the play. Minnesota's got it across the line. Tries to feed it over to Scandella. Oh, and he can't bury that one. Wow, you don't get many opportunities like this in a game, James. You have to execute. He completely misses the net. Minnesota's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Shot! Closer to the halfway point of this frame. Minnesota's really put the squeeze on here now up by three. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Passes on over to Yamamoto. Great defensive effort with the stick. Here they come on the attack. Here's a chance to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Here's a chance, sends it in front, and that's stopped. Moves the puck. Yamamoto's got it against the boards. Dishes it to Enra. Across the line, down the left wall. Centering pass, picked off in front. Moves it over to McCann. Moves with the puck in the corner. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just 
feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Minnesota's been on a roll all night long and they continue to lead in the third. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Moves it to Beneers. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Moves it to Niskanen. Puck dumped in. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. Slides it across to Beneers. Quick pass to Granlin. Slides, come moves on. it to the middle. And Takes a bump, but on still hangs side. on to the puck. Beautiful Watch feed out. up ahead from the right wing side. Burkowski's got to be the player that sparks his team. Everyone knows that he's their star sniper, and he just can't find the back of the net and is extremely frustrated. There's another for the hit parade. And the puck's knocked loose. Grabbed along the boards by Dostas Bear. Moves the puck to the attacking area. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Broken up with a stick. Moves the puck across to Zadorov. And now he tries to get it across to McCann. Centering pass! And he denies that great opportunity there. Chris really impressed me tonight, James. Just look at that last sequence and that desperation save. Unbelievable. I mean, when it's required to be calm and poised, he's got quiet feet. But when he needs to move and make a desperation play, he does it. And he turns that one aside. And it's a quick pass to Tolvanen. And he slides it quickly to play. Broken up in the neutral zone by Granlin. Here's a shot! Blocked in traffic. Here's a short pass to Prosser. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Quick feed to Palmenville. Stopped by the goaltender. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Vegas is coming up next on the schedule. Fascinated to see how these two teams will match up on the ice. Looking forward to that one. Minnesota's manufactured plenty of offense tonight and they lead here late in this third period. Less than 60 seconds to play in this block. Bjorkstrand's moving the puck through his own zone. Drills them. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. Nice zone entry on the left side. Shot! Comes over the maple save! And another save! Minnesota's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. Michaels won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Denies the shooter on that play. And Ross back in the lineup after rehabbing his injury, and he's quick to create some offense there with that nice danger shot. Shot! And he comes up with a stop there. And that's blocked in traffic. Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Sends the pass over. Cheers in front! Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Rips it! Denies it again! Seattle's got the puck along the wall. Devastating hit into the wall. I think he tried to turn him into drywall on that play. That's it. There's the final horn to close this one up. Big win tonight, and this team's really starting to peak at the right time. Uh, and you know how a winning streak continues, James? You continue to push and play aggressive, and that's exactly what they did from the onset of this game. That'll do it from all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Savalski. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and... Hopefully there's green chicken wings waiting for you somewhere.